great to be back. After five weeks off with appendicitis, the return of Tomasz Burdick to the ATP World Tour has been a happy one. For me, it's like a bonus, you know, after, after all that, that happened in the last couple of weeks. The Czech's first title of the 2016 season came in China at the Shenzhen Open. After what he's been through, it's uh, great to see him back, uh, obviously, that quickly. And uh, I hope that the health part of his will be strong again. For Burdick, obviously, having had a little bit of time off, something that he hasn't really, you know, he's been maintaining his fitness levels very well. And obviously, having had an appendicitis, that's been an unusual situation for him because he's been on the sidelines, something he hasn't really been before. So he should be fresh. Burdick hitting the court at a crucial time of year with Asia on the horizon. Every part of the season is important and, you know, this stretch is quite big, you know, and uh, it's uh, at the end, you know, it's a, it's a thousand series uh, tournament in Shanghai and uh, all this is leading to as a preparation, but still, you want to do well, you want to play some good matches. It's a transitional period for the 31-year-old as he welcomes a new coach into the fold, former Wimbledon champion Goran Ivanisevic. I'm very pleased, you know, to, to have Goran on my side in the team and he can help, he can bring something to the team with all his experience as a coach, as a, as a player as well and uh, let's see how we can, how can put it in the work. Positivity and points the key as Burnich's focus moves to the 0-2 and the Emirates ATP race to London. It's going to be a, a big thing for him again. Uh, that's what he's uh, focused on since the beginning uh, of the year. Now he's a little bit on the edge here and there, but uh, you know he always made uh, his way through, and I hope uh, he's going to he's going to do it again. The courts in Asia are generally pretty quick, uh, which again should suit his game. So um, I think the incentive's there for him to play well. But after exiting the rackets in Japan Open at an early stage, Burdick is well aware that the road to full recovery and the 0-2 should be taken one step at a time. It's a big goal, but you know, after after missing a US Open and uh, you know having a, a bit of tough few weeks, then it's it's going to be very difficult in in this moment for me. But you know, I'm really lucky to be back on on tour now and playing playing some tennis, which was not really. The prognosis is looking really good to that, so you know I can play, and then let's see what how the thing's gonna develop and how it's gonna go. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, set your alarm for the Shanghai Rolex Masters, and the Emirates ATP Race to London rolls on as the countdown to the O2 continues. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com where you can cash your vote for the atpworldtour.com fans' favourite awards presented by Moet and Shondon. And chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, now on Vixlap. We'll see you next week.